up, guys, and welcome to Chompers, a Five Nights at Freddy's fan game that unfortunately got canceled. Now, this is the canceled fanverse pitch demo that was going to be sent over to Scott to obviously showcase the game and, you know, hopefully get funding for it and to get them to, you know, actually get a full game worked on and released eventually. Now, unfortunately, it did get canceled. As you guys know, we did a few Chompers videos, um, you know, breaking down the different stuff like the game dole page and a few other, you know, different aspects of the game. But uh, it ended up getting canceled because of the whole pair situation. If you guys aren't aware of what that is, just type in FNAF pair and you'll, you know, be able to read up on it. But it was a very horrible thing and uh, unfortunately it got this game canceled along with a bunch of other very promising games. One of those ended up being Juniors, which did end up getting released, but this one obviously is not coming out anytime soon. Now, I wanted to play this demo because first of all, I was looking forward to Chompers a lot and I was, you know, I thought it was going to be a very good game. And uh, second of all, a lot of people worked on this and I really want to showcase some of the work that they did. And I'm also going to link down below into the description the uh, game dole page for the game if you guys want to check it out and support some of the people that did work on this game that obviously had nothing to do with the whole pair situation and, you know, we're just working on something that uh, would have been very cool. So we're going to go and check out this demo. If you guys do want to see more, though, uh, FNAF fan games, let me know. Leave a like on the video down below. Hit that subscribe button and stuff like that, and we'll definitely do some more. But for right now, let's go ahead and hop into this. Now, there is a disclaimer down here. This is an early concept demo showcasing features such as real-time cutscenes, movement, visuals, and animations. What is shown in this demo may change in the final version, but yeah, I don't think there's going to be a final version. Let's go ahead and press play, though, and hop in. This type of stuff, while it is sad that, you know, a game like this got canceled, it's also very interesting to see. Like, what could have been? Looks like we're walking in somewhere. Yeah. So this is us walking into the Chompers location. Which is interesting. I thought this was just going to be like a FNAF... A normal FNAF-style fan game where you just survive the night, but... Looks like it would have had a whole storyline. And, like, first-person segments and stuff like that. Ooh. Who's that? Ooh, is that Glitch Trap? You can... I, I've seen that those feet anywhere, okay? I, I recognize those feet. <laughs> Oh my gosh, whoa, that's a cool looking version of him. That looks so cool. Objective, find the power box. F for flashlight, WC to move. Use your mouse to look around. Area not available. So it would have just thrown us in right here. Okay, area not available again. So we have two doors. Let's go and make our way over here. So is he actually in here with us, like hunting us? The EMF determines how close you are to an enemy. Use Q for EMF and then shift to sprint. EMF. Okay, so I guess I'm pressing Q and it does that noise. Oh, look, there he is right there. So wait, is he actually, like, attacking us? Or is he just to showcase that he's here? Whoa, he looks creepy. Oh, man. Yeah, this guy looks so creepy. So he's not actually going to attack us. Uh, which, But still, like, look at this guy. That is unsettling looking. Like, I love the skin that you can, like, see within his mask right there. The teeth look awesome. The ears look fantastic. Look at the physics on them. How they how they wiggle like that at the end at the edge. That is so cool, man. Wow, this guy looks so unsettling. Now if we walk into him, okay, yeah, there's no jump scare, nothing like that. Um, what the heck? Look how tiny his eyes are. <laughs> and the lights go off. Hold on. So pressing Q, I think it just will like show us. Yeah. Okay. 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 So it's one of the things like you can you can look around the room, right? And it, when it goes full like this, that means he's right next to you. So yeah, we found him. That's a little toy that he stepped on. All right, let's continue. Now, there is other versions that are like downloadable on the Game Jolt page. But for right now, I figure let's check out this one and then we'll check out those after. But let's go ahead and go this way. Okay, so we can sprint this way. Remember, always pay close attention to your surroundings when handling potentially dangerous equipment. Who's that little fella right there? Okay. The two little Fs on the little box right there. Is this open? Oh, yeah. Restore power to the unloading warehouse. Okay, eat interact. Oh, is it this right here? I think so. There we go. Read through all the dev notes. Oh, okay. So the power is on now. Oh, look at that. Who's that over there? Hold on. What is this guy? He looks familiar for some reason. What are you doing here, little fella? Is that the guy from the box right there? Kind of. All right, so wait. Can I go through? It says read through all the dev notes. Is something open that I'm missing? Hold on. Let's go up top first. Actually, wait. Can I climb this? I don't think so, but yeah, no, you can't. Okay, hold on. That's not a door, right? No, it's definitely not. Okay, let's go up top. Because I'm thinking we can probably find the dev notes up here. Just kind of strange. Oh, look, there's one right here. Oh, how do I grab this? Welcome to the showcase part of the demo. Here you have developer notes to guide you on what you what you just experienced. Plus, give some insight on the development of the game. Okay, cool. Where's the next one right here? Let's see. This is the unloading warehouse where all necessities such as food, drinks, and merchandise are gathered from delivery trucks and distributed across sections of the establishment. Oh, okay. It's so cool, man, to see the insight like this of what could have been. The stairs in an 
is an alternate alternative route to the second floor, while the entrance under it would connect to the back exits and the other side of the map. Oh, so this would have connected to the other side of the map. Okay. It's this over here. The music heard is coming out of the speakers connected to the child alert system. Ooh, child alert system, which can be used to lure any animatronic to a specific room. Oh, yeah, there's the speaker. I didn't even recognize. I see that. All right, what do we got here? Oh, let's learn about this guy. Okay. It has to be William Afton, right? This is one of the main antagonists of the game, Midway, better known as Springtrap or William Afton, along with the other enemies, will be fluidly animated um, with smooth transitions between each animation state. Oh, man, this guy looks so cool. That's awesome. Okay, what is this? Players would be able to climb up this ladder as one of the alternative routes to get to the second floor. Oh, okay. Who's this guy? This is Stomper, the mascot of the main corporation, Friendly Farm. Here, you can see him in a mascot suit form, which would be used to, to greet guests. It's also used in gameplay to navigate the establishment safely, but make sure to breathe every so often. Oh, so this is what we would have climbed inside of and used to navigate the establishment without getting killed by, you know, the animatronics and so on and so forth. Dang, okay. What do we got over here? The loading dock? What is this supposed to be? I think that's what that is. We have completed the base building and are expanding upon it with details that will make these rooms feel even more realistic. All 22 areas can be seen in, this vid in the video sent alongside this demo. Hmm, I didn't see a video, but I'm sure there is one. Uh, let's see. Where to next? Right here. Okay, what do you have to say? This area, as well as the rest of the establishment, will be rendered using Unity's high-definition render pipeline, along with the fancy graphics such as gr uh, screen space reflections. I think that's the other demo. SSR demo. I think that's what the other one is, so we should check that out. And volumetric fog. It also supports ray tracing, which we plan to implement for high-end hardware. Ooh, ray tracing would have been nice. Isn't that uh, what Security Breach tried to do? Well, I think they ended up doing it, but... One of the main features for this game will be its real-time cutscenes that will lead directly into gameplay. Oh, that would have been cool. Similar in games such as God of War, Red Dead Redemption. Yeah, Red Dead Redemption 2 does that very well. That, that would have been so sick. Okay, so we have two more notes somewhere. Where's... Am I missing them? Oh, there it's all the way over here. Okay, it's head over here. So yeah, we, we definitely gotta try out the other demos that they released because I think there's like two or three other ones, even though I'm not sure what they are. All right, let's see here. Second to last note, the two entrances here would lead to the kitchen or the freezer room. Loading for each room will be seamless, removing the need for loading screens while exploring. Ooh. All right, what do we got here? Thanks for experiencing this demo. Great job getting the power back to the main warehouse and avoiding midway. Hopefully these notes have been informative and provide the extra context needed. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Exit through the kitchen doors. Okay, so which one's that? It's either this or that one. Not oh, this one. And then I'm assuming the game will just take us back to the menu, right? I think so. Yep. All right, so real quick, I'm going to tab out. I want to look at the page. Hold on, I think I can bring it up for you guys. Yeah, okay, you guys can see my screen right here. So they have... That's the one we just played, but they also have Chomper's HDRP tech demo and HDR main lobby. Okay, let's go ahead and download this one. Uh, this is a very old tech demo with Unity's. Okay, we'll download these two. This one's VR, but yeah, let's see what these two have in store for us. All right, so here we are with the next file. Now, this is Chomper's HDRP, I think it was called. Oh, wow, dude. This looks so cool. Look at the reflection. Okay, it kind of messes up if you do that, but like, what? Like, look at this shot right here. This is so awesome. Oh, man. What is this? Blues Stellar Mangrove. So I think all this is is just to showcase like this main area. Oh, we have a flashlight. Cool. It's E to use for some reason. Um, but yeah, look at this. This would have been so cool, man. And this is like a very early version of it. Like imagine it when it's all done. It would have been so. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, okay. Thank. Wow, they thought of that. Oh, oh never mind. I'm. I'm stuck. All right. <laughs> I just want to go back inside. Is that so much to ask? I'm right here. Okay. Well, I was going to say, dude, they thought of everything, but nope. <laughs> just, oh, there we go. We're good. Oh, whoa. <laughs> what? <laughs> what am I doing? I don't know what's happening. Can I go back inside, please? Thank you. Okay. Uh, that was wild. I don't know if that's on, uh, that was a, on purpose or a bug. I don't know what that was. All right. So uh, actually, it did give me controls. I probably should have read them. <laughs> But this is like the main area where I, I'm assuming you'd like get your tickets, right? And then you would like go to the left, go to the right to like head into Chompers itself. And then we have Toadstool's Salon, I guess? Toadstool's? Is it just called Toadstool? Yeah, I guess so. 
um which we obviously can't enter but this is still really cool to see this like man this looks really impressive like the, the amount of people that worked on this, this is why i wanted to do this video because i just want to showcase this this came out like three or four months ago but uh i just really wanted to showcase this and just once again like shout out to all the people that made it um go to the game tool page check out their pages and see what else they're working on because you know i'm sure they're working on something else just as good as this if not better you know all right let's head into the next game though so we're loading up Ooh. okay so this is a very early tech demo for chompers now this one said if i press y oh look you can see someone walking around the background um we can actually like change areas and stuff like that oh look at this i, I like like what we're seeing in the background i hope we can actually go to these areas but in case not we can't let's have a look at uh and on the loading screen right here so if we press y though we can like go to these different areas let's press any key here we are so oh yeah this is the oh look at him walking around so this is the area that we were in but a very early version of it yeah look how it used to look or i guess without you know uh, all the effects and stuff like that look at this guy so i'm assuming he doesn't actually attack right now yeah look at him though cool to see though nonetheless this guy just walking around doing his little thing you know so we can press y apparently now showing it's like a oh the chomper show okay let's press y and oh whoa whoa i don't know if this is copyrighted music but look at this this guy hanging out in a canoe this guy's singing with a fork and a spoon oh this is the theater okay oh my god it's really buggy in here but look at okay so you would walk in through those doors which i'm assuming would be here or down there somewhere and then this would be the theater where you actually get to watch the chomper show oh that would have been so sick dude like i just imagine like a cutscene where like you're you sneak in here and like you sit down and all of a sudden they start like you know like singing and stuff like that and then the lights cut out and they're like gone or something i don't know man like this would have been so sick oh man look at this guy though look at him so cool man and i like how it seems like it wouldn't have been like a typical like survive the night style thing where like you're just stuck in an office it seems like there would have been a lot to explore and a lot to do which oh my gosh that would have been so nice look at this guy hanging out in the little kayak though is there anything else in here i think we found everything in here all right so i think we can go to each of the rooms from the loading screen oh the kitchen this is from the teaser if you guys played um chomping with chomper i think one of the final teasers was like somebody in here like one of the not the final teaser but like one of the teasers was there was somebody in here i remember but uh yeah the kitchen very cool man so can we glitch out this door no look at that coffee machine dude those things look expensive so that's everything in here let's go and press y go to the next area Ooh, where are we at now oh this is um toadstool's thing yeah oh so this is through that door and the main area look at this so wait we probably could have pressed y on the other game too and maybe went here we have to go back and see if that's possible but because i imagine with those um those graphic things that they added I, I can't think of the name of it not it's not hdr the other thing that you know security retain stuff like that but um i imagine this would have looked very very pretty all right let's go ahead and press y again the arcade the prize corner what oh man this is sick so you got all these different arcade games oh this feels like i'm in like a chuck e cheese right now in a way or like skating rink or something oh man the ddr dance pad the game that you could cheat at by putting your arm you know putting the whole the ball right in the hole and then uh, a bunch of other stuff ski ball i think it's called oh man that's cool can we go through this door no all right so i think yeah we're back at the start now all right so i'm gonna start the other version real quick i want to make sure that i can't press y on that one because i think we might be able to okay so guys i just looked and uh no you can't it says it on the game joel page this one's just like uh what the lobby would look like but man imagine the whole game with graphics like this like looks crazy especially sneaking in at night like this gives off like such i don't know like it, it just it it's really impressive just from like you know, a very early perspective of the game but yeah that was the chompers canceled fanverse pitch demo really really unfortunate like super unfortunate just playing through this you can see that the team that worked on this that didn't have to do with the whole pair you know scandal and stuff like that they did a very good job they put in a lot of work a lot of effort and they were trying to make something real special and it reminds me of like security breach in a way i don't know what it is about it but just something about it just reminds me of it probably the graphics but just like i feel like this would have been a very cool game i just imagine like going to each of the areas and not having to like sit in an office like i imagine just exploring like going into toadstools and like having a night they have to survive in there and then like going over there surviving a night over there you know like i just think this would have had a lot going for it and it, like i said super unfortunate what happened but guys 
be sure to go in the description check out the game tool page check out all the people that worked on this give them some support see what they're working on now and go support whatever the project is, that is that they're working on and uh yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys did leave a like hit that subscribe if you're new and i'll see you guys in the next one thank you guys so much for watching peace out